My name is Grace Seidel, and for my biology role model, I chose Erin Ionicone, who is a cardiothoracic surgeon. Her father was a, an orthopedic surgeon who used to take her to the hospital with him to make rounds, and this immediately instilled a fascination in medicine for her. She then went on to complete her undergraduate studies at UCLA with a degree in psychobiology. She then attended medical school at Oregon Health and Science University. Later, she completed her residency in general surgery at the University of California, San Francisco, Fresno. Then she went on to complete a cardiothoracic surgery fellowship at New York Presbyterian Weill Cornell Medical Center and Memorial Sloan Kettering. She currently still works at Weill Cornell for the Advanced Cardiovascular and Aortic Surgery Fellowship, but it wasn't very easy for her to get here. Uh, in the beginning, her friends and family had always asked her, do you really need to do this? Uh, they weren't sure if it would be worth it in the long run, being such a demanding career, but she ended up doing it in the end. And of course, being a woman in the medical field is difficult, especially in cardiothoracic surgery, as only about 5% of cardiothoracic surgeons are women. In addition, Erin uh, works to close that gender gap and motivate young women to work in this field. As far as having any interesting hobbies, I was unable to find any articles with that information, given that Erin is a surgeon and not a working scientist. There's not a lot of articles about her biography. I really admire Dr. Ionicone because she is a cardiothoracic surgeon, and I would also like to be a cardiothoracic surgeon, so that is why I chose her. I also found that it is easy to identify with her because I am sure it couldn't have been easy to be in this field, even less so as a woman, and now she is working in a very good cardiothoracic department, so that's very motivating and inspiring to me. I also really admire how she got past a lot of her loved ones asking if she really wanted to do this. I think the fact that she worked so hard and achieved so much is truly amazing, and I hope I can do as well as her as I work towards my goal of becoming a cardiothoracic surgeon. I also really admire how she is working to close the gender gap in this profession. She is currently mentoring young women and trying to promote women in this field, and I find that very amazing. The field of biology my scientist is involved in is medicine. She works as a surgeon and has a spe special interest in aortic aneurysmal disease and cardiovascular disease in women. The most recent paper my scientist worked on was the impact of left ventricular ejection fraction on the outcomes of open repair of descending thoracic and thoracoabdominal aneurysms. The purpose of the experiment was to see how a decreased amount of blood pumped out of the left ventricle impacted certain cardiovascular diseases while they were being repaired in surgery. Uh, some of the methods they used included restricted, restricted cubic spleen analysis, which is a way of testing the hypothesis that the relationship is not linear or summarizing a relationship that is too nonlinear to be usefully summarized by a linear relationship. This type is of analysis is basically just a transformation of an independent variable. They use this to identify how patients with low blood pumping from the left ventricle are affected in surgery in addition to already having a cardiovascular disease. So far, they found that low blood pumping levels corresponded to an increased risk in major adverse events, such as stroke and operative death. However, they concluded that depressed blood pumping from the left ventricle was not an independent predictor of adve adverse events in surgeries for those with cardiovascular diseases. So they concluded that they must look at other factors that could play into this.